Hi, welcome to Thiru Academy. Today we are going to discuss about differences between spring and spring boot. Spring versus spring boot. Okay. First one, we will see about spring framework. Okay. Uh, spring framework is the core framework that provides a comprehensive set of modules for building enterprise Java applications. For enterprise Java applications, if you want to build enterprise applications or web applications, it provides a framework set of modules to build that Java application. Complete framework offers a comprehensive set of modules for building enterprise Java applications covering everything from dependency injection and data access to MVC framework and testing. For example, it is uh, sorry, it is providing complete framework. If you want to develop uh, standard applications, we can develop with spring framework by, uh, by using features of the dependency injection data access. And if you want to go with web applications, it is providing MVC, spring MVC. We can use that framework and we can go with that flow okay if you want to uh, you do unit testing it is providing testing also spring testing okay like that it is providing complete framework manual configuration requires significant configuration often through xml files and annotations uh, for example if if you want to go with only spring framework we need external configuration Re uh, spring configuration is required through xml files for example if you want to go with spring boot no need of external xml files okay right that is manual configuration flexible provides fine grained control over every aspect of your application it is providing flexibility learning curve steep due to its complexity and many options because of many options provided in spring framework we can learn easily learning curve is very high okay we can uh, easy to learn spring framework because of its options and features key features of spring framework okay the first is a dependency injection aspect oriented programming mvc from framework data access transaction management testing these are the key features of the dependency injection uh, sorry spring framework because of these features spring is rapidly growing first we need to say one by one uh, dependency injection manages object creation and writing promoting loose coupling and testability it, it is supporting these features okay aspect oriented programming AOP enables cross cutting concerns like logging and security to be addressed separately and transaction management also it is providing we can apply for those functionalities AOP we can apply we'll discuss later more about AOP whenever we discuss about AOP module okay spring uh, sorry MVC framework web application development with a clear modal view controller separation we can develop web applications with MVC separation modal view controller separation data access supports various data access technologies like JDBC JPA and ORMs it supports Hibernate Spring JPA and Spring JDBC also it is supporting. Transaction management manages database transactions in, sorry, ensuring data consistency. It manages database transactions and it is providing data consistency also. Okay. Testing provides extensive testing support. It is providing testing support for unit testing, integration testing and web testing. Web applications testing also it is providing. Okay. Spring Boot 
when coming to spring boot spring boot makes it easy to create standalone production grade spring based applications that you can just run uh, for example after creating spring boot application we no need to go with uh, external servers or configurations like that we just go with run as spring boot application we can do like that okay we can uh, sorry we take an opinionated view of the spring platform and third party libraries so you can get started with minimum fuzz it is uh, supporting third party libraries also so that we can get the most opinionated applications most spring boot applications need minimal spring configuration um, it is uh, reducing the configuration very very low configuration required for spring boot applications okay key features uh, these key features we have discussed earlier video also we'll see one by one in clear key features create standalone spring applications we can create standalone spring boot applications okay embedded tomcat it is providing embedded tomcat uh, tomcat jt like server support also available in spring boot provides opinionated starter dependencies to simplify your build configuration to simplify our build configuration it is providing the spring starters automatically configure spring and third party libraries whenever possible whenever required it is providing the configuration for third it, no, it is uh, sorry it is providing configuration for third party libraries also provide production ready features such as metrics health checks like that and external externalized configuration production ready features uh, whenever we use spring boot it is providing the production ready features we no need to provide any features externally automatically spring boot provides all features whatever required absolutely no code generation and no requirement for xml configuration very 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 less configuration required in spring boot the next spring framework at the rate configuration uh, annotation point of view i am telling okay manually defines spring beans and their dependencies in spring framework we need to we are uh, defining manually for configurations and all if you want to go with uh, uh, for example uh, exam uh, we want to go with java based configuration for that we need to define manually used ex extensively for configuration in traditional spring applications extensive configuration is required for spring applications okay for spring boot that much of configuration is not required very 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 less configuration required okay see in traditional spring applications we need to provide configuration like this at the rate configuration if you want to provide bean at the rate bean we need to use like that for example i am telling telling okay example i am telling spring boot when coming to spring boot auto configuration is there automatically configure beans based on the class path dependencies and configuration properties for example if you take service layer simply we can define at the rate service annotation spring depend spring boot iosc container will takes care of the bean creation and all okay minimizes the need for manual configuration classes for example we didn't provide any annotation or configuration for any class if you want to create bean in our application at that point of only we need to go with at the rate configuration annotation and at the rate bean annotation we need to use we need to provide configuration like that for those classes we to create beans okay next 
simply at the red spring boot application annotation will use from here application execute execution will start okay we need to run he from here only yes see differences feature focus when coming to spring framework core spring modules when coming to spring simplified spring development is available in spring boot configuration manual and xml based configuration we can do in spring framework in spring boot auto configuration and properties available so no need of external configuration and manual configuration dependencies we have to add man individually we need to add the dependencies in spring framework only if we take spring framework without spring boot i am telling yes managed through starter pumps in pump.xml we we need to add dependencies in spring boot applications so configure uh, versions and all it will take care server needs external server setup in spring framework embedded servers are available in spring boot production ready features for that per, for that p, uh, feature in spring framework additional setup is required in spring boot built in features are available no need to provide any additional setup these are all the differences between spring and spring boot thank you thank you for watching if you really like this video subscribe to my channel please like share and subscribe thank you thank you very much